I'm actually thinking about how we came up into the election, whether it gave us a bit more pause, knowing that there are more flashpoints identified. And of course, a lot of this came from, uh, if you like, feedback from the, uh, the, the registration exercise. Mm. So did it make you anticipate, even though I'm hoping we're all, we're all going to be uh, you know, saying amen to your prayer amen. You know, at, at the end of the day, but did it make you feel like we were heading into a more delicate uh, election this year? Honestly, no. Yes, there were many identified, but I think we have to commend our security services for working hard at it. You really can tell only after the fact. But yes, there were many identified, but let's define the flashpoints well. They are areas which are volatile due to collateral situations, like there may be a chieftaincy dispute. Right. Okay. Or historical situations. In the past, they've been fighting, that kind of thing. And I think there's some work that has gone on. If you take Ododidi, for instance, a lot of work intervention trying to get things settled down. Um, that does not mean there will not be problems. But given that work, I, for instance, am quite reassured that we won't have that many problems. But they are called flashpoints because a single spark can blow it all up. Mm -hmm. So the vigilance must be maintained and we should not take unnecessary risks. So if you take a video, you, being a flashpoint, being very volatile, I don't think the EC should have tried to combine the four. Don't yeah. take unnecessary risks yeah. with a flashpoint. Yeah. But all that said and done, Again, I would like to really urge that the media be careful because the thing about flashpoints is that if you don't take care, you can highlight too much. Okay, look, you can be staying in, you know, one suburb of Dansoman and one polling station may have a fight. It is entirely regular and normal. But if you don't take care, it will look as if the whole Dansoman is at war. So we should also be careful how we report these things. But to your question, we come into this election looking at the last few weeks to the election very calm. Yeah. The last week to the election is when you get a lot of problems. Last week was so normal. I was very impressed. And I think going, uh, driving here early this morning, I thought I would see a lot of whizzing. The last election, I did the same thing. I mean, early morning, you know, driving around, you could see a lot more activity. You know, after the election, you could see all kinds of things going on. It's calmer this time around. I just hope that we'll continue to have this calm to the end. Like I said, I prayed for a very boring election. Yeah. Amen. Amen. It's election morning, and this is your election headquarters. We're coming to you live from Studio 997. We're live on the Joy News channel. We're also on Joy 99.7 FM. If you're watching or listening to us, you've already made your only important and correct decision of this election. Keep watching. We'll tell you everything as it happens everywhere in the country. Uh, in a moment, we're going to spend a bit of time on one of the constituencies that has become, I don't know, a microcosm of this election. And it's also become uh, the, the, the center of attention because of the two campaigns that have gone on there. I'm talking, of course, about Ayawaso, West Wogon. Let's not even bring in the history um, that uh, that by-election, that unfortunate by-election also adds to the fray. But we'll be talking a bit more about Ayawaso, West Wogon in a moment. First, though, let me remind you that if you haven't yet heard that Airtel Tigo is giving you the opportunity to make free Airtel Tigo calls every single day from 5 a.m. till 10 a.m. for six months, and my goodness, you really need to be updated because now, well, you know. And uh, I wonder what you're waiting for. Just get yourself a new Airtel Tigo SIM, make a transaction with Airtel Tigo money, and get yourself free Airtel Tigo calls every morning for six months. If you're already on Airtel Tigo money, then just dial star 110 hash and select option two and subscribe for the morning offer with as little as two Ghana cities and share all of your coconsa every morning for free. Don't waste any time at all. Buy an Airtel Tigo SIM today and get talking. Airtel Tigo money, life is simple. So in the mornings, usually on the Super Morning Show, we would bring you the inspirational song by the kindness of Duraplus, where Duraplus goes, water flows, and EDC. With EDC, financial independence is possible. You can now start, run, and grow your business thanks to First National Bank. Now, with the First National Bank Gold Business Account, you get a range of payment solutions on their award-winning platform to bank on the go and even pay Forex abroad. Now, uh, it takes a bank that does more to help 
help start, run, and grow your business. So just go to firstnationalbank.com.gh and opt for one of their consultants to call you back. Or you could just pop into any of their branches in the Accra Mall, Junction Mall, Makola, West Hills, and Achimota Malls, as well as Tema Community 11, Jan Towers, Lodestar Heights in Tema Community 1, Market Circle in Takrade, Snit Complex in Edum Kumase, or their head office, which is at the Accra Financial Center building. It's more than just business to you, and that is why they help. First National Bank Ghana is a subsidiary of the First Rand Group of South Africa. First National Bank, how can we help you? So uh, this is, of course, uh, the Joy News Channel and Joy 99.7 FM. The Arrive Alive campaign is brought to you every day by Joy News and Multimedia Group, supported by Toyota Ghana Company Limited, Toyota Superior Quality, and Logistics Movers. We help you relocate. Now, of course, it's all under the auspices of the National Road Safety Authority. So avoid all distractions, keep both eyes on the road and hands on the steering wheel. That is how to ensure you drive safe. Now, Toyota Ghana Company Limited has introduced the brand new Toyota Starlet. You really need to try this car out. It's, it's offered on a special early bird price and you get a one year or 20,000 kilometer free service offer, plus a manufacturer's warranty of five years or 150,000 kilometers, whichever comes first. You can buy on credit as well through special arrangements with their finance partners. So go to any branch in Accra, Tema, Kumasi, Tamale. Takwa or Takrade, or just call 0302-910-204 for these great deals. Toyota Ghana Company is proud to be associated with Joy FM and Joy News' Drive Safe Tips on the Super Morning Show. Toyota Superior quality. So if you're thinking of the safest, hassle-free and most secure way of relocating or transporting your goods, then the Logistics Movers are here to offer you a professional and cost-effective way of doing this. Uh, they have what it takes to put a smile on your face. That's their hallmark. So call them on 50 127 Seven three six three, or just go to info at logisticsmovers.com. That's their email address or the website, which is logisticsmovers.com. Logistics Movers, we help you relocate. So, uh, say it right, uh, is sponsored every morning by Kingdom Books and Stationery. Uh, Kingdom, your number one stop for all office essentials and stationery. And Kingdom, of course, helps you to say it right, even though that never comes by chance. You need to read, read, read the right books early in life. Go and pick up some readers and books and learning materials from Kingdom Books. Uh, for example, uh, Phonics Flashcards, Aesop's Fables, Oliver Twist, The Fish That Talked, Emperor and the Nightingale, Growing Up for Girls, Illustrated Classics, uh, Junior Illustrated Grammar, and so many more. Call 050-140-1050 or just go visit Kingdom Books and Stationery for a great discount. The news review, which we did today with our guests, uh, Kofi Bentel and Clara Berry Cassidy, was brought to us by the kindness of CompuGana. Shop at any CompuGana branch across the nation and get up to 40% discount and free delivery. CompuGana, passion for technology. The online review, of course, brought to us by Zenith Bank in your best interest and Goyle Good Energy. All right. Well, I've forgotten that was part of my job. Kofi. Just a quick one. Um, <laughs> yes. We get information from very credible mm -hmm. sources, and yes. I think I just have to put it out. So there's a polling station near the Foreign Affairs Ministry. This is just around Airport City. And I hear the voting machines have still not been delivered. It's in Accra. I think it should be quick. All right. This so is something we have please, to look into immediately. Deal with Thank the, you. The, Which the polling station waiting? are you The one near the about? Foreign Affairs Ministry. Right. Nothing has been delivered. They are just waiting over Okay. There, so. so we will verify this information uh, and let you know what the situation is at the polling station nearest the Foreign Affairs Ministry. This is your election headquarters. Stay with us for the latest on that. Okay. Let's, uh, let's keep going with our conversation. Mm -hmm. I Yawasu, West hmm, Wogon. Hmm, hmm. This is, I mean, there's a center of drama now. And of course, it all started with that uh, ill-fated by-election when we lost uh, Chemanting Ajakun, who was the member of parliament for the area. Uh, his wife uh, then took over um, as the candidate. Um, and, um, well, that process that br brought her in as the, the, the MP for that area unfortunately is memorable for all the wrong reasons but here we are today we have john dumelo coming up against uh, lydia al hassan and boy what a contest it has turned out to be it's no longer an obvious safe seat for any party is it mm -hmm. It isn't. And I'm happy to see, I, I, I am always happy to see politicians campaigning 
very hard because I, I believe that no matter what work you do, you must give it your best and you must put your best um, into it. So anytime I see someone working very hard at what they do, I like it. So I have enjoyed, I, I am proud and, and, and have enjoyed how hard both candidates are, are fighting are fighting for, for the seat and all of that. And irrespective of um, who wins that seat, I think that both parties would be, both candidates would be proud of themselves and rest assured knowing that they've given it their all. Mm -hmm. I also hope that this time around, um, the, the, that particular constituency would want to make it up to Ghanaians in quotes, mm -hmm. which is that they would hold exemplary elections to at least cancel out all the negative um, um, reasons that were associated with it at the by-election. So it's one of the the, the, uh, the constituency that I would be looking out for after the polls are over to see who wins the seat. Hmm. It's been exciting and I like mm -hmm. the life that they put into the campaign, the drive. I really have enjoyed all of that hmm. um, for that constituency. Kofi, yeah. uh, with your prophet hat on, do you reckon you know who's going to Oh, I know who's going to win that one too. Really? <laughs> <laughs> this one you must But I totally agree with uh, Clara. Look, as far as I'm concerned, Aya also has been the model constituency as far as campaigning and everything has come on. And again, from their history in the recent election where we had a lot of trouble, um, you would expect that maybe things could have been difficult. Aya also is unique because it has all classes of people. From the highest, the universities are there, my office is there, all the way down to the people who are working. So, And it's quite densely populated. Yeah. So there's a lot of, you know, voting. And it's a big place, okay? It's a very big place. And, you know, Mama Lydia has campaigned hard. Hmm. And she's been forced to campaign harder because of how much John Dumelo has put in. And look, whoever wins or whoever loses, they should be proud of themselves. John Dumelo should be absolutely proud. He fought an exemplary campaign. And he was such a gentleman through it all. You know, in the process, they even found ways to have joint walks. Yes. They walked together. Yes. You know, and this was highly, you know, intensely fought. So I really commend John. I commend Mama Lydia for getting up and doing the work and doing her best. Whoever wins, I think Ayawaso is the better for it. And like uh, Clara said, politicians must work and earn their votes. So Ayawaso for me is a model. I hope to see a boring election at Ayawaso. Mm. No police or soldier shooting, no nothing. Go and vote, go home. And when they finish, please, Mama Lydia and John have a fufu party. <laughs> I mean, honestly, you know, these symbolisms uh, mean a lot, mm. okay? I mean, and like I'm saying, I think Lydia Alassan has a future. She was plugged in because of the MP we lost. But she has built some following for herself. And I think that if she wins, she should emphasize her own right to be there. If she does not win, she should hold on to it and make sure MPP does not replace her. And I think she can do that by building this credibility. You know, they should have a fufu party or whatever they eat after this and show that, you know, that is a model that everybody must follow. So mm -hmm. I'm looking very hard at Ayawa. So whoever wins, I'll be happy. Indeed, indeed. And I'm just minded of the fact that there are people watching us across the world uh, who will not in the least bit be surprised to hear us suggest in all seriousness that once an election is over, we should celebrate with carbohydrates. <laughs> That's just our way. All right, so listen, uh, I want to say a big thank you to the two of you. We've, uh, we've had a sparkling conversation this morning, and we've really set things up perfectly uh, for election headquarters to continue into the day. Clara Berry Cassati, Kofi Bento, uh, we are eternally grateful, and we know you're back. You're back with us uh, later as our coverage continues. Uh, right now, though, uh, we're going to hand over um, beautifully uh, to Mamabi Owusu Abwaje right after these all important messages. Stay with us. We'll bring the messages to you in a bit.